Hello, Gemini. I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Um, Gemini, uh, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are. Um, you are welcome here, um, and I am so happy to have you. Um, let's go ahead and connect in with the current energy for this group of Gemini. Um, Gemini, please understand that um, um, this probably won't resonate with all of you, so um, be sure to be discerning in um, whether this is your story or not. You have the power, you have the strength within you to create your own destiny, um, especially when um, there is a connection in with your spiritual team. It's, it is most powerful in that place. Let's go ahead and see what the current energies here are for Gemini. What are the current energies for Gemini, please? What are the current energies for Gemini energy? For this group of Geminis, what are the current energies here? For this group of Geminis, what are the current energies? I just feel like there's one more. I'm not quite done yet. Let me see what else is here. Current energies for this group of Geminis. All right, there we go. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it just like that. And let's look at what, um, what are the next energies? What are the, what is the next wave of energy that Gemini will be stepping into? The next wave of energy that Gemini will be stepping into in the next 10, seven to 10 days, the next two weeks, the next month, whatever the time frame is for you, Gemini. What is the next incoming energy for Gemini? What is the next incoming? We have this. Nine of Cups here in the upright, showing itself here. What's the next incoming energies for Gemini? What are the next incoming energies for Gemini, please? What are the next incoming energies for Gemini? What are the next incoming en energies for Gemini? What are the next incoming energies for Gemini? Whoa, whoa. We might be good here. Let me see how I feel about this. <sighs> energies for Gemini. There we go. There we go. All right. What? Please give us some guidance for Gemini. Please give us some guidance for Gemini. Please give us some guidance for Gemini. Please give us some guidance, please. Give Okay, Gemini, it is three minutes, 21 seconds. Um, not bad for me. Um, for those of you that have been following me for a while, I do take a little bit of time in shuffling. Um, let's go ahead and get started, Gemini. Um, let's see what this energy is. We have the Page of Wands here with the Page of Cups. So when there's something new and beautiful happening here for Gemini, for this group of Gemini people, um, let's go ahead and get into these energies here. Well, you enter into this time period or you are in the energy of optimism, in the energy of looking forward into the future, excited about what's to come in your life. Um, there is something new here. There's a new, there could be a new baby. There could be a new um, introduction. Um, there could be a child here. There's something here that has brought in a new energy of inspiration, a new energy of love, something that warms your heart, Gemini. It is a beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, it, it's something that warms your heart. It brings love into your life. It, it's could be a new introduction, could be a child, could be a new um, job or, or a new cause that you're involved in. Um, could be something beautiful happening within your community. Um, it's something young. It's something fresh. It's something new. Um, and it inspires you. It warms you. It fills you with a new loving, warm energy. Um, we do have the Queen of Swords here. This is you, Gemini. Um, you are protecting this. You're protecting this. You're feeling passionate. You're powerful. Um, you're, you're saying what you need to say. You're expressing yourself. 
And there's something here that you are protecting in a fierce and mighty way, my friends, in the energy that you were born into, um, the main energy that you um, asked for as you came into this this human experience um, to be in the energy of the Queen of Swords, which is Gemini energy. It's speaking your truth. It's expressing yourself. It's protecting something or someone. Um, and it's powerful and your sword is up. So you're actively now um, protecting this new love energy that is around you. Um, you have something now to protect. You have something now to fight for. Um, and it has been a long time coming, my friends. It is a long time coming. Um, we do have passion here um, with the Page of Wands. So there's there's messages coming up around you. There's love and passion around you. There's a youthfulness. There's a, an excited energy here for this group of Geminis. I'm feeling excited about the future, feeling inspired. I'm taking action now to step into whatever this is is giving you, is offering you. Um, it is a youthful, energetic, passionate energy. Um, now it does feel like it's it's a it's a, these are newer energies or they're younger energies or they're energies that are um, around you that haven't always been there. It's something new. It's something um, it's something worth fighting for, and it's something new. It's something youthful. It's something young. Um, it's, it's in the birthing process. It's in the birthing process. There, there is some anxiety here. I can feel the pressure in my right ear. When I feel pressure in my ears, there's usually some sort of anxiety here. I um, mean, also something, um, cause I, I'm on it. So it, there, there could be a message here that, that you're, that you're needing to hear or something here that you're needing to hear. So make sure as the Queen of Swords that you take a moment and hear what your spiritual team is offering you or listen to your thoughts or listen to your heart. Uh, make some time here to listen um, to the voices that are within you, to the feelings that are within you, um, because there's something here for you to, to absorb, and it's probably love and passion. Um, so sometimes we're when we're in too much of a, um, of a warrior type energy and, and wanting to make sure that we're heard, and that we are being truthful and we are being strong and we're protecting this. Make sure that you're taking the time to hear the message that you need to hear um, that keep you warm, keep you in a loving energy um, and help you connect in with whatever this is around you. So uh, make sure that you bring balance in as you're fighting to protect whatever this is. All right, let's look at what's coming here in the future because the it, the energies were quite active. So um, this is this is interesting for me. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's here. You have the death energy. So there's a major transformation here. And this is super exciting. Um, you have the king of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Damn, ace of cups here. Ace of cups here. New love. Eight of pentacles. Six of pentacles. King of Swords in the reverse, Emperor. King of Swords in the reverse. Let me get into this energy. It's in the it's in the center of the reading. So let me get into this energy. This is the overall picture. Oh, and the King of Swords is about the overall picture. All right. Okay. Let me, let me see, figure out what this is about. It's right over the top of the King of Wands and the King of Cups. You might not be able to see the full picture, my friends. You might not be able to see the full future here. You might be having a hard time being discerning now, or you might be just having a hard time seeing what the big picture is. You might be needing to make a decision and, and maybe you, um, you don't have all the information you need, or you're not able to see the big picture of this, but all these energies are powerful and beautiful and profound. Profound, found. There was an extra energy when I said the word profound. I said it weird. Profound. Found. There is there you're you're looking for information here. You 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 have 
it's almost like a little bit of anxiety. This is how I feel it, like a slight bit of anxiety about everything that's happening. Like everything that's happening is beautiful and good as you move into the future. And the Queen of Swords is in the upright and she's in a warrior energy right now. As you move into the future, you are going to need to make some sort of adjustment here in the way that you're thinking. You might not be able to see the big picture. You might have a future that's, that's looming ahead of you. And you might have some kind of anxiety here, some, some sort of anxiety about not be able, being able to see the big picture of it all. Um, there's something here that is beyond your grasp. Um, you could be, let's, let's just talk about like, let's say you're, um, um, pregnant or, or your wife is pregnant. Let's just use this. They're, they're giving me this analogy. Um, I, let me, let I know this is, this can be irritating with analogies, but sometimes this is how spirit works. So please, um, give me, give me a couple minutes to express this. Um, this is, could be a situation where there is a first time mother. Okay. First time mother who is pregnant and she is preparing to give birth, right? She's preparing to give birth first time mother. Um, and she knows what's around her and it's beautiful and she's so excited about it. And at this point in time, she's very tired, very tired, um, feeling very awkward with her body size and everything that's happening to her body. Um, her body is becoming a machine, right? Her body is going from being, um, a, a beautiful woman who has, um, the, the, it has the silhouette of a woman and has attractiveness of a woman, um, a woman prior to pregnancy. And now she is moving towards having a child stepping into the most beautiful and most profound, one of the most beautiful and most profound, profound experiences that a woman can have one of them, right? It's not the only one, but it is one of them. And, um, she is in the space right now where she doesn't really understand um, the profound nature of this, where she's knowing that there is going to be a profound nature. Um, she knows that it's going to be incredible, but she has no real tangible idea of the way her heart will swell, of the way her body will change from being a woman into being a mother and to giving milk and to giving birth and to providing for another human. Um, and she doesn't know how our heart will expand and will reach out and want to embrace the world and will want to embrace every child. Ooh, I'm in this energy. So, sorry, I'm in the energy of what she'll experience. So, while there are such beautiful, while there are such beautiful emotions around her and, and so much profound, just such incredible energies around her, and she's in such a protective energy around her baby and around her future, around her home. There's no way at this point in time that she can see the full picture because she hasn't fully stepped into the experience yet, into the experience of birth that's still to come, into the experience of holding her baby that's still to come, into the experience of holding all the children in the world because that is still to come. Because when we become mothers, we... We, we begin to understand the preciousness of, of humanity. That is part of what's so profound about this experience. And, and even though she's aware of that intellectually, she has not yet stepped into this experience. And so there is no way that she can understand the big picture here. That's the analogy. And I don't know, honestly, if there would be another way that I can express this energy with the king, with the king of swords, but hopefully that helps you understand why the King of Swords is in reverse. So you start off here with a Scorpionic energy with a transformation in the upright. So there is a major change coming in for this group of Geminis, a major change here. And the change doesn't come without sacrifice. The change doesn't come without pain. It doesn't come without awkwardness, without giving up something. Something was given up, whether that was your innocence was given up, a past belief system was given up, um, an old relationship was given up. Something in the past happened that created this major transformation, right? Because there's a new beginning here. 
Um, we do have the King of Wands here. This could be a Leo energy, Aries, Sagittarius energy. We have another Sagittarius energy here with the Emperor. Uh, but there is a masculine energy here. Um, I, I Probably another person could be um, a partner that's coming in for you. Um, could be a, um, some type of, uh, it could be a lover. It could be a family member. Um, it's, it, this, this person standing right next to the Ace of Cups, this passionate, new, loving beginning um, that's showing up here. So this could be a new partner coming in for you. This could be um, a family member. It could be a new work partner. It could be a new performance, a, a performer that's coming into your into your life in some way. Maybe you are working on a production or you have some type of presentation that you're going to make and you um, hire a marketing company to help you um, influence people about this. This is, could be an influencer that's here. Uh, it could be um, anyone who is passionate and powerful and can step into new arenas and can influence and can create and can um, solve problems and um, fix issues and move into um, crisis areas and, and fix and revolutionize the space around them. Very dramatic kind of energy when I'm in it. Um, the Six of Pentacles is connected here. So Whatever this is, there is a big change coming in the next few weeks. Now, I know this is a very short period of time. So for some of you, this is something that's very more mundane. It's something that's maybe going on at work. It's something that's maybe going on within the family. For others of you, this could be a major transformation that, that I'm connecting in with, a big, huge story that I'm connecting in with. So for those of you that are here that are resonating with this message, you will know how these energies fit into your life. Um, there is some type of a masculine energy here. This person is very much... Um, taking action in his or her life to bring in some 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 sort of new creation, new revolution, um, new performance, um, a new product or something new that this person is busy influencing and creating and inspiring and encouraging and leading. Uh, very passionate, very charismatic, very beautiful person. Um, it has a lot of attraction power here. Um, the Six of Pentacles is over the top of the transformation and the King of Wands. So there is new balance here. There's new equality. There could be new revenue coming in or a stability of income. Um, there could be some granting of funds here or some kind of gift that comes in. Um, but I do feel like this King of Wands has a lot of generosity in the actions that he or she is taking. Um, and this is bringing in some kind of financial equality or equality of of in the 3D. So it's not really a quality of thoughts. It's not really a balancing of the mind. It's more of a balancing of the real world that's around you in the real world that's around the King of Wands. So again, this could be a new partner that's coming in. It could be a revitalization of a marriage or a commitment. Um, but there is someone here that's coming forward in a loving way um, and bringing balance, bringing um, a new life, bringing new balance and new equality into this into this experience. Again, we have a King of Swords here, which is you, Gemini, who is in the place of not really being able to see the big picture here and feeling some sort of anxiety at not being able to do that. But I, I just feel, uh, Gemini, I don't really know if there's any way you absolutely could see the big picture because you're not really in that space yet. So don't um, ask of yourself something that is not possible at this time. Um because when the time is right, when, when things are meant to happen, uh, when, when you are, um, have the ability to see more of the details of this or to step farther into this situation, you will be able to make the choices that you need to make. Um, it's going to be important for you to realize your power, your strength, your discernment, the clarity of your thoughts, um, the, the ability that you to ha that you have to step through situations, um, that are difficult or are exciting or are overwhelming. You have the ability to do it. You have done it before in your life. I do feel pulling at the womb chakra. So um, this is about who you are as a person and it's about um, stability, stability that goes down to the DNA and to the bone of who you are. Um, and I feel this womb chakra. So there could be someone, this is so bizarre. There could be someone that's actually pregnant here. It, the scenario that came forward could absolutely be a scenario of somebody who um, is, is listening to this reading. There is new love here. There absolutely is new love here. The emperor is here. So whoever is connecting um, with you in this new love, um, whether this is a job, whether this is a new family member, a new lover, a new cause, a new solution, whatever this is that you are just 100% in love with, 
Um, this is connected to someone here who is quite feeling quite proud about this, feeling, feeling quite inspired, quite um, chest out, chest out here, um, feeling proud of this, feeling excited, feeling um, the energy of excitement and forward movement. Um, this is the emperor energy. So this person could be older than you. This person could have um, very specific niches um, that he or she finds themselves in. Um, this is a person who is um, quite in control of his or her destiny, uh, could be a leader, could be a supervisor, um, a manager, someone who is in um, control of a group of people or of a system or of a, um, of a society or of a community. Um, the emperor rules, but he rules with processes. He rules with established order. Um, he understands the power of efficiency and, and people and systems working together in tandem to create the most efficient process and the most successful way of um, production. He, he uh, builds and creates further abundance. He is quite prosperous in, in most of what he does here. He could be an Aries energy. Um, he's working quite hard. Um, he is staying focused. He is very much connected to this love, very much connected to what's happening here. This is um, connecting with his heart center and affecting him um, within the heart center, affecting his life in a, in a profound way, Gemini. And um, you could be this person. Uh, I feel like it's the King of Wands, though, that same person. I feel like it's the same person here. Um, and this person is not getting distracted. This person is continuing on in this experience and um, staying very much attached to whatever this is, staying focused on it, knowing that it's the beginning of something profound and beautiful and abundant. So um, staying focused on this, knowing there's further work to do here, learning, going into a period of learning about this, learning how to do this. Um, this could be a father. This could be a father of an unborn baby here. Um, stepping into a new um, environment, a new situation, um, focusing on this, stepping into a learning situation, knowing that there is a beautiful um, family legacy ahead and um, stepping up to the plate here and not getting distracted, staying in tune um, with this situation. Again, there is a new love affair here, whether it's with a child, whether it's with a new person, whether um, it is with some type of new job or business, whatever it is. It's something that is involving another person in some way. Um, I do feel like there's another person here. Um, it could, that person, that energy could be a community. It could be a group of people. You could be joining a new department at work and having um, some type of uh, group of people take on the energy of the King of Wands or take on the energy of the Emperor. Um, but for most of you, this is a person or a partner here connected to this new love, excited about it, um, staying focused on it, and here you are being slightly anxious about the big picture of things because you can't quite see how this is all gonna turn out, how this is all gonna work. Um, but we see you here, we see you not running away, we see you standing tall and stepping into this new love situation with the King of Wands. Let's see what the guidance is now, Gemini. Let's see what the guidance is. All right, we have four of pentacles energy. We have five of pentacles energy. Nine of cups energy. Remember how it flipped out before? And now we have the moon energy. So, okay. There is something here that you have, prog you have progressed a certain distance. You have gotten yourself to a certain place of stability. You have um, found a certain success here. You're holding this to your heart and you're clinging to it. You're clinging to it like a lifeline. But there is a need here to continue to move forward. Um, and I, I feel like time is pushing that. It, I, I feel like you might not have choice here. Like time is pushing you forward. Every day is pushing you closer. And it's kind of scary as you step into the unknown. And whatever this is, is scary as you step into the unknown. But ultimately, this is an answer to your dreams. This is something you have prayed for. This is something you have worked to manifest. This is something that you have um, put the time and effort into. Um, you have had to take really um, some 
very strong and um, powerful steps towards your own empowerment. So this is um, the energy that I'm in with, with the Nine of Cups is self-care, self-nurturing, self-recovery, um, focusing on what brings emotional fulfillment, fo focusing for once now, Gemini, on your own happiness. Um, you have had to fight for this happiness. You have had to fight for this wish to come true. And as the time pushes you forward here, um, there is another person here or another situation here that's pushing this forward. And it's going to require you to step into the unknown here. Um, you have fear here about how this could impact your life, the consequences of this. Um, you are almost in a way enjoying this period of time right now before it all happens or as it begins to happen, you, you could be like saying, wait a second, you could be wanting to put the brakes on here and say, wait, I kind of just like it right now. I kind of just like my life just right now, but time won't allow you to do that. The days pass and, and, um, activities take place and, and things happen and you are going to step into something that you, you are going to step into something that you could be slightly fearful about. Um, but again, this is a wish fulfillment here. This is something that's going to bring a, a situation or an experience or a person into your life um, that will help you to really connect in with what is blissful for you, what brings bliss and joy and happiness into your human experience. Again, we have the moon here, which is a Pisces energy, but it's also um, the unknown. It's, it's, it is the river that you're in, as I'm in this moon energy, I'm realizing these cards are not. The, the river that you're in here with this moon energy is the river that's taking you downstream. I mean, you are moving into the unknown here. It's a vast unknown and it's scary to be moving in a, in a direction or on a river or in a boat, in a kind of boat. Um, that you've never maneuvered in before. So there is some sort of moving into the unknown here and and allowing, and, and I don't think there's a whole lot of choice here, Gemini. This river is taking you into the unknown. That's the thing. When we manifest um, a dream to come true, oftentimes we don't understand all that goes into it. Uh, those of us who ask for mighty dreams, who ask, who ask for great changes in our lives, when we do that, sometimes we go through major transformations that can take years of time. Um, sometimes if we ask for smaller things, we can attain those things just a little bit quicker. Sometimes we ask, when we ask for something so profoundly big like this, and again, like I'm in these energies, this could be something much smaller but the energies are still here, right? So this could be something you're dealing with at work or some new situation. Maybe you've decided to take on a certain project or take on a certain client or something, um, and you're going to have to do something new, And you, and you but it is something that you're going to enjoy. Um, and there, it's already set into motion. It's set into the motion. The guidance here is that, mo that the moon will light your way. You know, as you're going through the night, as you're going through the darkness with the flow of the river in the current of the water in which you are uh, maneuvering within, the moon will light your way and soon the sun will come up over the horizon and add light to this experience. So again, it's a it's the energy of you're on your way. Um, you're in a period of time now where you can't really see the big picture. You can't really know what's in the future, uh, but it ultimately is a wish come true for you. It's, it's something that you've worked hard to attain. And as you move forward in the future here down the stream, um, the sun will soon break over the horizon and um, new information will be given, new experiences will be entered into, and you will begin to be able to see the big, the bigger picture of whatever this is. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. When I come back, I'm going to dig deeper into some of these energies, and that will be in the extended reading. The link for that is below. Um, let me determine here what energies I'm going to connect into. So definitely this page of cups here. I'm going to definitely connect in um, with this ace of cups. So this ace of cups here. And I feel like I'm going to connect in um, with this king of wands emperor energy. So these are the energies I'm connecting in with. Um, in the extended, also in the extended, I will look at the people who are around you and um, dig deeper into what their intentions are as time moves forward here.
All right, so in the extended, I'm going to look at this new love. I'm going to look at this new love, like new messages of love. And then we have new love coming in here. And then I'm going to look at this combination of the King of Wands and the Emperor energy. All right, and then when I'm done with that, I'll um, bring out three or four people that are around you and dig into what their intentions are as you move forward in your journey. All right, thank you very much, Gemini. It's always a pleasure to read for you. I wish you the very best. Thank you, my precious friends.